Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on F1 2020 where I am continuing on with this Bahrain Grand Prix weekend in both Formula 3, Formula 2 and Formula 1. Today it's the sprint race in the Formula 2 category. Yesterday finished 13th um, in the feature race and yeah, so looking to do a little bit better. I really struggled with the strategy, made a massive mistake trying to go uh, a little bit longer. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments, there is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Good old Davide. <laughs> so competitive and all of the drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In this sport, you have to be able to control your nerves. So I guess, yeah, we'll take Davide's uh, advice and, and try and get a decent result in this one. So this race is going to be 12 laps. No, no we don't want to. We don't want to. All right, so set off on the formation lap now as most of you will know if you have f1 2020 or whatnot they don't actually have the up-to-date cars drivers and paint schemes just purely because uh the season started so late with the with the virus and everything that f the code masters guys didn't actually know who was racing in which car and what so i have read somewhere that they are going to come out with a free dlc with all the 20, uh, 2020 drivers and teams and schemes and whatnot, so we're looking and waiting for that to come in. Uh, it's the same car, so. Um. Alrighty, here we go. Sprint race in Formula 2 Bahrain F1 2020. I'd like to go out. Oh, good initial getaway, just too much wheel spin in the second phase, but. Uh, and. No, don't make it three wide. Oh, okay, the part's flying. Let's see if we can make it around the outside. I've made up a couple. Alright. So go around the outside again. We are starting on the softs. There's a couple, as you can see, around us starting on the medium, so we should have an advantage here on the first couple of laps. Uh, three wide, why not? Oh my god, don't hit me. That's a decent start. Good job. Turbo lag and this is absolutely insane. Oh shit. Come on. We're up into ninth, so we, we're going forward. Now this is where I've been better than the AI throughout the weekend. Especially with the soft, we've got more lateral grip than these guys around us. But there is still a bit of an aero wash in this game, not as much as what it is in real life, but just enough to make it, or make you think twice about getting sort of out of the wash in front of you if you're going like around a fast corner. As you can see there, you've got to try and crisscross, a, come across the wash instead of just staying behind it. But we've gone up to eight on this first lap. Still got an advantage around, I think there's a couple in front of us that are on the, on the medium tyre. So we've got to really try and make a move now. Problem is we're not going to have DRS for the next couple laps. Struggling for traction. That's the biggest sort of problem I have right now. It's getting off some of these really tight corners. See there, that aero wash did not help at all. Big dive bump. Nice move. Good job. Uh, too deep. Again. Where'd he go? Is he alongside me? Where? <laughs> Alright, DNS is enabled. I didn't get it, but I think the guy behind me did. Come on. 
up to seventh. Our teammate in front of us, Jordan King. Uh, his dad has got quite a few bucks in his pocket. So I uh, pretty much raced half of this entire field back in the sort of karting days. Oh, come on, man. Not driving too well right now, but. Certainly this year's uh, crop of F2 drivers. It's not been a very good lap at all. I'm starting to lose the, uh, the grip in this soft. Had an advantage on the first two laps, but not so much now. Got that all sorts of wrong. All right, well, we're gonna pit on the next lap anyway, so we won't have to deal with this tire. I'm not <laughs> probably noticed I am sweating like a pig. It is so hot in here. You know, UK, there's no such thing as air conditioning. In the summer, it's, you know, on paper, it doesn't seem that hot, but it definitely feels bloody boiling. All right, I'm gonna struggle. Hold on to this position. DRS, oh, sweet. That helps. Yeah, these these softs are rooted. You don't say. <laughs> Feel it now, mate. Oh, you can actually hear the wheel spin. I really love the sound of this engine, even though it's not anywhere near as good as what it used to be. God, the old F2 cars used to sound insane. Oh, God, well done, Joseph. Nob. So in this lap, just going to try and see if we can just make it to the freaking pit entry. Struggling as it is. Uh, didn't go as well as I should have into the uh, into the pit lane there. Just a little bit too soft, but anyway, just get this stop in and out as fast as possible. Not what I wanted. This has not been a good outlap at all. We are going to lose some spots here.
just can't get any traction, man. Not want to, just not want to go in a straight line at all. Definitely gonna have to do a little bit um, of research next race just to see what it is I'm doing with these tires, especially over the weekend in terms of like the allocation and when I'm used. Maybe I used up too many in practice because I just have no grip and I'm just looking at, you know, after one lap I'm at 22%, so I, I must be using a used set of mediums here. She had way more pace yesterday and that was on brand new sets of tires. I don't really know how it works, but as I said, I have to do a little bit more research next uh, before the next one, but because we are not going to hold on to this position much longer. So you just hear it wheel spinning like a pig out there, you know, I'm just going to let this guy go because I'm just going to slow us both down. mean on letting him go but he's freaking slow oh no ah i can't believe i just did that stupid idiot and i drive half the race with a freaking broken front wing i've got simulation damage on so it's not gonna help We have just got a queue of cars behind us. It's just not going well. Oh, traffic. Front wing damage isn't actually hampering us as much as I thought it would. I'll say that going under steer wide. <laughs> not get any traction whatsoever. Still got four laps to go. Freaking hell. Damn it, Mr. Freaking DRS. I know, got it. Never mind. Don't be panicked. <laughs> well, how did I miss it there? Shit, we see him up the inside there. 
Uh, we are just going backwards. Big move. Oh, ding dong for 15 spot. Come on, just go straight, you pig. Pirelli is going to be absolutely destroyed after this. Oh, yellow flag's out. Barely keep it on the track right now. God, they're absolutely munted. Uh, I just realized who's in front of me. It's so sad, man. Unfortunately, sometimes in motorsport, you get incidents that are just unsurvivable and that was one of them no amount of protection or safety equipment can stop you surviving and uh, well yeah stop you surviving an impact of that magnitude that was just ridiculously hard how how hard he got hit but that's motorsport it does happen thankfully They've now got the halo, which is something I was, well, I was originally pushing for the aero screen back in 2014-15, uh, when we, you know, when we lost Wilson and, well, Weldon, and a lot of people don't think Weldon would have survived even with a halo. I can guarantee you he would have survived with a halo because where the fence hit his head, you know, that would have, he would have probably been very badly injured with just the severity of the impact, but... I think he'd still be walking today if he had a halo and, a, and an aero screen like what they have in IndyCar now. But yeah. I mean, the halo is probably the ugliest thing you'll ever see, and I, I still would have, you know, preferred just the aero screen because I think that may have, especially in F1 terms, you know, IndyCar, I think they need that halo for when, you know, if they are going to race on ovals. But. Having said that, yeah, the more the safer the safer it is, the better. All right, last lap. Oop, just realised I got. Oh no! Oops, should have really blocked that. Let's see if we can hold it around the outside. Squeeze. Oh, we got the DRS as well. Must be like halfway through turn one that. Detection zone, oh come on. Oh, mate. It's all up for 13th right now. What a race. I'm defending for my life here. She just got no traction whatsoever. Too much 
kid. Come on. Track limits. <laughs> Far out, man. I am absolutely drenched. Need to go have a shower. This is <laughs> taking a lot out of me. It's so hot in this room. Come on. I'm going to hold on to 13th here just. All right. Well, 13th and a 13th. Okay. My first weekend's worth of racing at a. Uh, or in Formula 2. Oh my days, man. Oh, I really need to get a better fan. I've got a fan here, but it's not really doing much. Ralph Boschong. Driver of the day. Oh. Shit, I'm out of water as well. <laughs> Alright, so 13th and a 15th in my first sort of weekend's worth of racing. I thought it was a... I thought we finished 13th. It wasn't. It was 15th. Anyway, I just. I think I, I need to go get some uh, cool air because it, it's melting my brain in here. But yeah, no. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for more uh, Formula 2 action throughout the year. Actually, going to go and run the F1 race now at the Bahrain Grand Prix in my other career mode. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. We had a. Where did we finish? No. It's like. So 17th or no 16th I don't know first race in Melbourne was yeah it was a learning curve just like this one's been so hopefully we can actually go and have a proper race in the dry this time in the F1 category but yeah until then catch you guys later